What's up guys, Learning with Rich here in this video after learning how to duplicate the views in Revit. So this time around, we're going to learn how to create section views and elevation views. So just a little bit of a background for the section views. So this is the tool that we use to create section, okay? So it provides views for uh, specific parts of your model. So you can create uh, building wall and detail section view if you want so if you're gonna click the section tool and then you can check the type here so you'll be able to create a detail okay and then you can also create a building section and wall section so each type has a unique graphical display and each is listed in a different location in our project browser if you are going to create it so building and wall section views display in the sections like the building section here on our uh, project browser so you'll be able to see that here if you have a section and if you're going to create a section for wall section so you will be able to see that here as well on our project browser so if you're going to create a detail section it will appear under the detail views branch on our project browser okay so just remember that so each type has a unique graphical display and each is listed in a different location in our project browser okay now, the first thing that we're going to do is let's create a section. And then after that, we're going to create elevation. Okay, right. So, so let's say, for example, I want to create, I want to cut my view here to this area. So I'm going to create a section here. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to create here a building section. So I select the building section and then you just need to click your first point. So let's say here, that's my first point. And then here's my second point here. Okay. And as you can see, you will be able to adjust the section by clicking this arrows here. Okay. You want to adjust that so you can adjust. So let's say, for example, up to here and there you go. And then you can, if you want, you can also adjust up and down your the view of your section. And checking your project browser, so you will be able to see now it here on our sections. So if you expand that, so there's now your building section. Of course, if you want, you can rename the section that you just created. So all you have to do is to right click this and then after that, just select rename it. Okay, and um, just to tidy up your your section, so you can also click that, and then you see you can break that one to create a gap to your section. So you can click that, and then if you want, you can move it there, so that it's not overlapping any elements in your model. Just to tidy up it. Okay, so if you want to open your section, you just need to click the section, right click, and then select go to view. So another way of creating or opening your uh, section view is by just double clicking the section head here. Just double click that. It will open up your section like this. Okay, so going back to my section here or to my floor plan, I'm going to select here tile views. Okay, so we can see here my section. By the way, uh, let me just change that to shaded view. So there's the shaded. And then if we are going to adjust the section here on our floor plan, notice that it will also adjust here on our uh, section view. So like, for example, I want to adjust this one up to here. And then you will not be able to see the changes there. And another thing, you can also create a split, okay? So you can split the segment of your section. So let's say, for example, I'm going to connect again my section here. So let me just put there and my section here. So let me just connect again. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cl uh, click the section here. And then after that, this is what I'm talking about. So we can use here split segment. 
So it splits a section or elevation. So you can also use this in elevation into segments that are orthogonal to the view direction. So this tool allows you to uh, vary a section or elevation view to show disparate parts of the model without having to create a different view. So let's try this one. So split segment. So let's say, for example, I want to split my um, section here. So I'm going to click this. And then as you can see, it's now split. Okay, uh huh. And then let us now adjust it. There you go. So, as you can see again, our section here adjusted. So, it's now split. See? All right. So, let's adjust this section. Oops, sorry. So, let's adjust our section. There you go. So, let's adjust that. So, you can split your um, section like that. Okay, and then you can also cycle your uh, section head. So let's say, for example, this end portion of your section, you can click that and then you can click that icon there to cycle the view on the tail end of your section. So you can click that, you can click, all right. Okay, so you can change that however you would like your section bubble to show. So whether it be a section bubble or just a... Uh, tail end or just an empty here okay right okay okay by the way you can also just simply double click it here from the project browser to open up your section okay so you have multiple ways to open up your section so the first one again is click the section right click go to view or um, double click the section head or double click the section here from the project browser. And uh, you can also uh, flip your section. So you can click the section and then you can see that icon there. So you can use that to flip your section. See, so it's now looking to this side. Or just right click the section and then you can select here, flip section, right? So you can flip your section so that's it for your uh, section here so by the way if you are gonna create another section you can also select it from here from the quick access toolbar you can click the section and then you can go to properties you can change it here so wall section so let's say something like this so that's my uh, wall section again this one is uh will gonna be show on your project browser so it's under the wall section. So that's the one. Okay. All right. Okay, so let's try the other option of creating our section. So let me use the section again. So what's the other type? The other type is if you want to create a detail view. So you can click the detail view. So let's say uh, uh, this area here. Okay, and then click. There you go. And then select here, modify. So if you go to the project browser, it's now under the detail views. So we have different types of uh, section here. So we have the building section, and then we have the wall section, and then we have the detail view. So if you want to do some detailing, okay, so you can create your detail uh, section. All right. So going back to my entry level here, so you will also notice here after you place your section, the head here are empty, right? So there's no detail number here or sheet number. So the reason why is that these sections that we have created is not yet placed inside the sheet. Okay, so if you're going to place this uh, section inside the sheet, so you will be able to see that uh, the section bubble here will show the sheet number and then the detail number. Okay, so we are going to discuss that on our future uh, videos. Okay, so basically that's how you create section. Very simple. You just need to click, uh, click two points. Okay, now the other one is uh, elevation. Okay, so elevation. So you can see the model's exterior or interior 
elevation perspective from for default template direction or other directions that you specify. So um, elevation views are part of the default template in uh, Revit. So when you create a project with a default template, so you will be able to see the four elevation views like this one. So this is the north elevation, the east elevation, you have the south elevation, and then you also have here the west elevation. Okay, so it is in elevation views where you sketch level lines. So if you want to start your project, so you can go to the elevation view and then you can add levels on that view. So for each level line that you sketch, a corresponding plan view is created. Okay, right. So these are the elevation. So as you can see, you have the default elevation there. So this is your east elevation, which is that one. So if you are going to double click this part, it will open up your east elevation. Okay, just double click that. It will open up your uh, east elevation here, which is uh, this one. So it's that one. So you have north, south, and then you also have the west. Now, if you want to create your own um, elevation, so let's say, for example, uh, this area here, I want to create an elevation here on the courtyard area. So I'm going to select here the elevation. So I will click that one. And then from the properties, you have a couple of options here. So you have the building elevation, and then you also have the interior elevation. Now I'm going to create here a building elevation. Now I'm going to put my elevation just somewhere here. There you go. And then I'll select here modify. So if I check the project browser, an elevation now is added here. Again, you can right click that new elevation and then you can rename that if you want. Okay, so I'm going to click the pointer side of my elevation here because I can adjust that. Okay, right. You can adjust that. Okay, so you can adjust your elevation. But anyway, I'm not going to adjust that one. So let us open our elevation here. Double click and there you have it. Okay, so there's now our elevation. Of course, you can still select your boundary there if you want to adjust your elevation if you want. There you go. And then if you want to add more levels, so you can create levels here by going to the architecture and then creating a level. All right, so basically that's how you create your section and elevation. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. If you have any comments, questions, or uh, suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I can. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.